Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the Sony PVM20N6U professional video monitor. Let's go ahead and turn this on. So this one unfortunately has kind of a weak tube on it. It is uh, it takes a while to warm up first off. Maybe about 20 or 30 minutes. There's a lot of color bleeding until it does warm up. I uh, I had this running for a bit, so it's not looking too bad right now. But yeah, once it does warm up, it looks pretty good. It's got three inputs. Two of them are double as composite and as video, and then it's got an RGB input. So this is the Neo Geo CD running over S video. And then here is Mario Kart 64 running over S video and then mm -hmm. Sparkster on the uh, Super Nintendo via RGB so uh, it looks pretty good all things considered considering how worn out the tube is Not too bad. Switch over to Mario Kart. Pretty crisp on S video as well as RGB. I do wish it were a little bit brighter. I have to pretty much crank the contrast. It's not fully cranked, but it's way higher than it should be. So let's take a look around back. And so, here we got Sony PVM 20N6U. Down here we've got three inputs. Uh, this one being RGB, and then one S video slash composite and then another S video slash composite. But uh you know I paid forty dollars for this. So I mean forty dollars for a PVM, it's hard to pass up. Even it was advertised as having a dim tube. And I did a lot of finicking with it and got it acceptable. Um you know, the three three systems that I play on it, it seem to look pretty good. At least good enough for me. So. Pretty vibrant. I'm a big fan of uh, Rocket Knight Adventures on the Genesis. I've had it since I was a little kid. This game I have not had very long, so I don't I don't know it very well.
He did. Straight through the bottom of the ship. That's pretty, pretty badass. Hmm. Ugh, <laughs> oh, well, that's all I'm I'm doing there. But anyways, there's a look at the uh, Sony PVM 20 N6U. It's kind of on the lower end of PVMs. I think it's got a 500 TV line tube in it, um, and it's only got RGB. It doesn't have it doesn't double as component, so RGB, S video, and composite only. Um, but I mean, any PVM for under $100 is pretty much worth it. Maybe some of the smaller ones you don't want to pay over up around 100, but I don't know. It's all, everybody's different. But thanks for uh, checking out my video and take care. Bye bye.